So, anyways, anyways, that's a backwards. There we go. All right, back by popular demand, another MRE live, and we today we have an A case, so it'd be menus one through twelve. You see, twelve meals, A through A. Now, a problem with this one is we have an inspection date of October 2017. So this is probably a 2010 dated case of MREs. Kenny! MRE Live, we got a case here, an A case. 12 meals, A out of A. Generally, the B menus are better, but we can do menus 1 through 12 here. We do two takes with that. Oh my god, price my guy. Oh, Mr. Riz, hello. Got a case MREs here for an MRE Live. Got a case MREs here for another MRE video. We have an A case, so 12 meals AA. That should be menus 1 through 12. Hi, Dad. Is, what, is Mom here? Menu number one, chili with beans. Legendary bird. Oh, no need to apologize. I know how easy it is to just like scroll out. Jenny, hi. I'm going to slide this sideways so I can see the comments better. You have 17 dads. That's a lot. Let's see what we got. We got the cardboard sleeve to cook in. Regular cheese spread. Chili with beans. Banana nut ranger bar. That is one of the driest bars. Orange. Would have been good for breakfast. Cornbread. We got our hot beverage bag, and our spoon, flameless ration heater, accessory packet. We got coffee and sugar in here, and then we have the white wheat snack bread. Fifty people. Yeah, no, there's no dessert. What? I got gypped. No M&Ms, no dry crackers. I am live while I'm making these MRE videos, and chat had just pointed out that there's no there's no expired M&Ms. I'm going to stutter a little bit. I'm going to redo that. 
I am live when I'm making these videos, and chat had just pointed out that there's no expired M&Ms. There's no dessert. Uh, I got kind of gypped on this menu. Um, overall, the meal is pretty good. I guess the, um, the banana nut ranger bar counts as a dessert. Honestly, I should save that for breakfast. Shove that in there, and let's heat up the cheese while we're at it. I'm going to put some cheese in with the chili. Put about an ounce or two of water in there. I don't know. That should probably be enough. I'm gonna fold this over and put that on a rock or something. Persona just got the gifter badge. Thank you. Oh, the heartbeat, yes. Crave violence upon thy enemies. Do you believe in Bigfoot? No. But interestingly enough, I had a customer uh, on Etsy that had bought a $5 item from me. And then when he got it, he was really upset that it was handmade. And it's just like, you're on Etsy. And it specifies that I make it handmade. In the description. And he left a really nasty review. And he was like, dude, it was $5. And, and then we got in an argument. He's really pissed off. And then uh, I looked the guy up. And he is like uh, an author on Bigfoot. Pub, pub, he's a published author. Published author. But he writes about Bigfoot. It's like, okay, dude. I guess uh, being a published author is not as big of a uh, claim to legitimacy as it used to be. He's mad that it's not made by Bigfoot. Probably. I mean, he wa he was looking for, like, a factory-made item. And it's just, like, the item that uh, we were talking about was never made in a factory. It was always made by hand. Even going back to the 1960s, it was made by somebody cutting it by hand. So it was, accurate, it was an accurate uh, recreation of a historical item. Do I eat the banana nut ranger bar? Handmade means it has more care. I mean, and it takes a hell of a lot more time. I mean, the way I make things, I, I make everything as if it's going to be my personal item. So I make it to my best of my ability. Granted, I don't make like little mistakes. Or over the course of years, I get better and better at making stuff. So sometimes like the thing that I'd save for me I end up selling because I had made a better one. So there is uh, there is that. I need to chug water having medical problems and I can't breathe. Dude, everybody on like TikTok has like medical stuff going on. But I guess uh, that makes sense if you have lots of medical issues and you can't do a lot of outdoor physical things so you're on the internet a lot instead. Hi, Fope. Going on for three days now. Actually, I'm pretty hungry, so let's eat the, the Ranger Bar today. It's so dry, it just broke. It's kind of like a scone. If it was compressed in a bar shape. It does taste pretty good. The bananas are dry though.
tastes like a mix of banana bread and a scone. If it was like pushed into like a pirate bar shape. Oh, I see a little walnut there. How come name is soap, eh? Interesting username. The cosplay soon, but every time I do, I feel like shit. <clears throat> so, when I used to cosplay, we're doing like basically just photo shoots at events, and there's only a couple times a year that I go to like a Comic Con or doing a, a meetup or going to an event to do a photo shoot. So, you can like plan your photo shoot with your friends and your photographer and stuff, and you only do like one photo shoot. Met B through Mini and then. So, like, I would grow my facial hair accordingly to that upcoming photo shoot, and I'm playing that character, and we're doing a big shoot, and you spend all the shoot, and I'm playing that character, and we're doing a big shoot, and you spend all the. Now, a lot of guys will break up the cornbread and put it in. I like to eat it separate. We're back. What food is that? Chili with beans. <laughs> There's the cornbread. a little compacted. Uh, tastes pretty good other than like like a smooth oily finish. You kind of get some like oil on your hands. You can kind of see that that uh, glossy on the, my finger. You kind of see that moisture on the top here. I don't like beans either. Hello, hello. Hello from Indonesia, hello. 
I figure you'd be Russian from the USSR gaming. Alright, that's the first time I've eaten it with the cornbread. I have to say, that's actually pretty good. It's like putting chili on a piece of cornbread and eating it. Usually I would put just like butter on cornbread, or like butter and honey, or just honey. But the meat with the cornbread, definitely a good combination. I'll have to look up to see if MRE menu number one is still chili with beans. For all I know, this menu is from uh, 14 years ago, so it might not still be chili and beans. So supposedly, MRAs last seven years, almost guaranteed, and then you're supposed to inspect it every year after seven years, up to 14 years, and then discard the MRAs. So these are on the end of their shelf life, but so far all the components are still pretty good. What else was there? I think I ate the whole thing. Oh, the wheat what, snack bread. Call sign pillow, hello. Choo choo. Make the drink. You're the coolest person I met here, Captain. I would hope so. But considering I know some of the people that you've met, it's not really like a lot of competition. <laughs> some of this orange. I'm always grabbing a, a water from Starbucks because uh, 
our local water is pretty hard. And it's got a funky flavor to it, so like I never drink the tap water here. I'm only drinking bottled water, but then Starbucks filters their water five times from local sources, so it uh, doesn't have that funky mineral taste. And then sometimes we get like, uh, we run out and we switch water sources to a uh, local water reservoir, and then you get this algae flavor to it. And um, they don't, the government water company here uh, doesn't, um, do enough to take the uh, algae flavor out. They just kill the algae, then pump the dead algae through the water supply. So um, you get that funky flavor. And they send us mailers saying, it's totally safe to drink. We treated the water. It'll just taste like algae. So anyway, I drink a lot of water from Starbucks. I always order a coffee and then a water. Strawberry Aussie with lemonade and a water. Caramel frap with extra caramel and a water. So, De Marie orange tastes like um, watered down tang. Oh no, phone storage full. My phone's full, I can't record anymore. Might have to spend all day tomorrow just deleting files. Meep. What's going on when you're wearing the Doge costume? The Doge costume's fun. Those masks are from like 2014, I think. I have to look up to see when I ordered them. They're back from a Doge mask not cool back when the, the Doge meme was like in its peak and they made some Doge masks. And then that company sold out within like two years. And um, I guess they never sold their molds, but there's another company that made the Doge mask again, but it's like a little bit wider, a little more yellow, a little more cartoony. So I had, um, like every time I got paid, I bought some more Doge masks. They're like $25 each. So it kind of got expensive when I was buying like a dozen of them. But I wanted to have a whole squad of Doges. <laughs> So, the best I ever got was two people. We went as Doge soldiers in uh, 2016 to a local Comic Con. Um, generally, it's really well received and people love it. I think it's fun. And a lot of people ask for photos. Which, um, you know, I, I'll, be, I'll be Captain Price. So I'm, I'll be wearing like several thousand dollars worth of equipment and maybe five people ask me for a photo, but when I'm, I'm on the, uh, the Doge, maybe like 50 people ask me for a photo. So we're in like a, a cheaper costume. That's silly. It's kind of more fun because it gets more interaction with people rather than wearing like a super accurate, expensive costume. So I was both, I was, I was priced for a while and I was Doge and I did uh, Ripley from Aliens. Um, I had a couple of casual outfits. So I am out of space. <laughs> Let's see. A second. Delete those two. I might as well delete my bad takes. Are you live? We've got While a we're case live. here. A case. Meals A out of A. Generally, the B menus are better, but we can do menus one through twelve here. Got a case MREs here for an MRE live. Got a case MREs here for another MRE video. Oh, fox. We have an AK. Fox. There's a little fox. Oh my god. How'd I flip the camera? Quick, quick, quick. 
it's sitting so perfect. It's a beautiful little box. So it's like right about, it's right about there right now. I have some cat food in my truck. I should put it out again. Uh, why am I next to an uh, electrical center, electrical uh, substation? That's because the field that I'm in is because they're doing construction. I keep getting moved to field to field to field. And now the last field here is right next to this place. That was the fox that last time. Oh, now it's running along the edge of the field. That last time I was at her, it came within like five feet of me. And like it wasn't scared, so I had to like move my feet in the dirt and then like looked around and kind of went around. And I got, I got it, uh, and I recorded a video of it and then it pooped right as I was recording. And I was like, oh. Really? I am live while I'm making these MRA videos, and chat has just pointed out that there's no, there's no expired M&Ms. Recently deleted. I might, dude. I want to go to the lake tomorrow and like record some TikToks out there and make a burger in the field. But um, my phone being full, I might have to like just spend a whole day just like deleting stuff. Cause if I got no storage, the. <laughs> So it tastes like it tastes like watered down tang with a hint of bitterness. It really should be sweeter. But it is, you know, just for the military, so it's just to replace your electrolytes. It shouldn't have too much sugar in it. made a burger with pepper and onion powder for supper. It was good. I'm allergic to onions, but I have used onion powder a little bit just for flavor. Because there's certain dishes that if you leave onion out of it, it's just like, it's missing something. But I found uh, garlic is a good replacement for onion. So you could put uh, garlic and stuff rather than onion powder. So like use garlic powder. Um, changes the flavor overall, but things tend to like mix good, mix well. <laughs> One thing I have left over is the white wheat snack bread. So I'll save this for a snack later. Maybe I'll put some jam or something on it. Overall, this MRE, menu number one, chili with beans, solid MRE, not as disappointed if I get one of these in the field, but um, I missed out on dessert. Would have been nice if I had a, like, a little snack in here for a dessert. <clears throat> Nothing allergic to mosquitoes. Did I buy price have a nice day? Okay, I mean, well, evening. The only thing that's left over is the white wheat snack bread. Oh, well, I guess no more takes. 
phone's full again. I'm allergic to bananas. Oh. Instead of leopard gecko, I got two bearded dragons named Nico and Luca. Bearded dragons are cool. Um, I seen them as a pet. People have like put them in like little dioramas or like little um, miniature miniature sets. Like to do like a little medieval castle and stuff, and do it as accurate as possible. And put their little bearded dragon in it, where he like lives in the castle. You know the. The lizard ends up being a uh, an Instagram model. Where's your British accent? I don't have one because I've never been to the UK. I'm actually American uh, and I served in the Marine Corps. But my heritage from my dad's side is English and then my mom's side is Czech, so I look very English. Are you supposed to be Captain Christ? Yeah, um, I've ne I never got the hang of doing accents. Never got in like performing art stuff. Outside of cosplay, which normally. <gasps> Ooh, the fox is back. Hi, fox. I guess he's doing laps. You want some food? I got snacks. It's my goal to pet that fox. It's scratching. Oh, look, I can zoom in. I guess it's just like doing laps around the field, walking the perimeter around me. Which, obviously a good um, hunting tactic. But people have like made fun of their, their pet fox, how like, it was trying to avoid getting like uh, affection from them or whatever, so like it wouldn't come directly near them, it would like back off and like go around and come to the side. I mean, last time I was out here, yeah, it's, it's, I see it walking on the perimeter again. Last time I was out here, I saw two of them. They're both small, and I saw them um, over in the dirt mounds over there, like behind the fence. And near some storage containers, there's like dirt mounds with holes, which I guess is like their, uh, their little den. Two young ones were like pr wrestling around. Did you go diarrhea earlier? But now I had an MRE, so it's going to block me up. Try tossing scraps of food and slowly get them closer and closer. So last time I put out cat food and ate all the cat food. I put cat food out in a little makeshift plate and the next morning there was just a pile of poop on it. So I'm just like, did you eat the cat food and then poop on it as an insult or as a thank you or to show that you ate the food? I'm just like, I don't understand fox. Do you have any pets? Not currently. <laughs> it's revenge. Maybe, I mean, if, it, if that food went through them that fast, um, I'm guessing that's bad. Oh, I uh, devoured that MRE. <clears throat> Last 
time you said you had diarrhea in your bathtub. No, no I didn't. I mean, the last time I had a house, I had a shower in the master bedroom, and you couldn't take a bath in it. And then the bath and the guest bathroom didn't work. So, no. Can I send you a TikTok? I think you're like, yeah, I think you can share it to me. All my DMs are open, so people that uh, I'm not mutuals with can send me messages. That wasn't what you said last time? What? No, someone in someone in chat was talking about that, and I just read their comment. I'm just like, what? Diarrhea in the bathtub. I said I had diarrhea, and they kept talking about the bathtub. And I was like, no, it wasn't in the bathtub. It was in the toilet. When you're clean today, your positive content's great. Well, thanks. Um, there's a lot of negativity out there on the internet, especially social media, so I just try to be positive. Uh, like I said before, um, negativity spreads more than positivity does. So I'm like handicapping myself by only making positive content because the negative stuff will get out there more and get more views and get you more popularity. <clears throat> it was, I don't have a bathtub, so that's that's not what I said. I read someone else's comment and then you, you stuck with that. Do you see the video of the lizard licking the fruit? I I don't think so. Unless it's that old meme where they they have like the uh, the Yoshi sound every time he licks it. My birthday was August eighteenth, and nobody wished me happy birthday. Not even once. Aww. How can you lie about not having a bathtub now because you got caught? You have zero followers, and you're following 36 people. And it says you're not even following me. Interesting. Can you say a line? Maybe. What, what line do you have for me to say? Can't say life and life from the game. Uh, I always end my lives with the uh, the Bravo Six line, the Going Dark line. Explain that the diarrhea. Yeah. So it was one of the MREs I ate. <clears throat> I don't recall which one offhand. Because I, I ate like what? 11 MREs on live so far? I, I, I got getting um, pretty sick. It was, it was a pretty rough day. Spend most of the day in bed and um, several hours in the bathroom. Um, and then the day after, I kind of got back to it. <laughs> you served, yeah, uh, in the Marines for eight years. In your bathtub. I don't have a bathtub, so you're the one that keeps breaking that up. Are we doing better? Yeah, that was like a month ago. Where are you? I am in a field. Sound like I figured out I was lactose intolerant, except I was at school for a month in a row. Yeah, um, right before my 30th birthday, I became lactose intolerant. Because uh, my birthday is in December, and... It was either late November or early December, and the eggnog started hitting the shelf. And I love eggnog. So, like, I cooked dinner, and I had a glass of eggnog to go with dinner. And I started getting horribly sick. 
and I figured something in my food had what had uh, gone bad, and it was like food poisoning. So I was like sick for like two, three days. So I figured it was like food poisoning. So I threw away all the food, but I kept the the eggnog. And then a couple days later, I had a you know like half a glass of eggnog, and it happened again. I'm like sick for like three days, just crapping myself. So I threw everything away. Um, when I started feeling better, we're on like day four, five, six now. And then I just had a bowl of cereal, and I started blowing it out again. And I was like, did I just become lactose intolerant? Can you have like adult onset lactose intolerant? It's like it hadn't been for almost 30 years, and now I am. So I did some research, and it turns out um, as you age, genes can turn on and off. So certain things about your body can change, so you can become lactose intolerant. So um, I ran an experiment, and I just ate regular food for like two weeks. And then I had some milk, and then it happened again. I'm like, oh, there it is. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh my god, that happened to me? Yeah. I think I did another bowl of cereal as the test. And started blowing up the toilet again. I'm just like, oh, well, that's it. I got lactose intolerant. So then um, I was just being really careful from then on in. So, like, I can eat three pizza, three slices of pizza and probably be good. Maybe a little bit of gas or discomfort. Four pieces is really pushing it. Five pieces, I'm going to get bloated and have a lot of gas and feel cramps. Um, I can kind of do the, like the lactate lactose intolerant milk but I still get bloated and feel uncomfortable so I really don't do cereal much but it's worse the school refused to give me water without pain so I just suffer <sighs> um, ice cream's pretty rough on me I can do like half a scoop easy one scoop is pushing it. Two scoops is going to be painful and I'll be regretting it. Um, like on a cheeseburger, I can do like two slices of cheese. I'm like, that's my limit. If I start eating more cheese, I'm just like, it's going to hurt. <laughs> they have to form a pill. Take it before I have Mexican corn chowder. Yeah. I have to take two dairy aid pills before I think of dairy. Yeah, same thing happened to my sister, so she got all the uh, the dairy pills. Ice cream dates will slaughter me. Oh, so the the third redhead I dated, uh, one one single first date off Tinder, and she wanted to have like, an ice cream date, and I was like, okay. So we went out to this uh, cute little town and uh, had ice cream, or we walked around town first and had ice cream. Walked around town again. And then I had a like... I think I ordered only one scoop. Then I was just like... Definitely had to get out of there. Within like a couple hours. I wouldn't be able to make that a long date. I need to re-ginger myself. <laughs> I dyed my hair black. Because OFC and regretted it immediately. Were you doing like a uh, a goth girl thing? So you have like extra pale skin and then black hair, so you look like super goth. <gasps> Another hand hurt. Thank you. Alejandro's left ear. Uh, do a bar live? Um, there are two bars in my... Well, more than two. There's... I guess there's two bars left. The rest have kind of, like, changed style. So there's basically two bars. Uh, one is, like, it's too loud and rowdy. That's where the troublemakers go. So I say, wait. And the other bar that I had gone to and was live in 
uh, they were really upset that I was filming. And they demanded that I leave. So, I can't do that again. Uh, the pub's okay with it. The pub is more social media friendly. They've got... They're always posting stuff on, on social media, but the, the one... That one bar definitely does not post social media stuff. I gotta say, my friend's aunt told me they don't ID if you're confident. <laughs> Hell, I got ID'd on Sunday. got so tilted when he lost, so that was like most of the times. Tell a dad joke. I was posting dad jokes on my personal account. Because I was getting, uh, I got the astronaut outfit on. So I was doing like astronaut jokes. Like, where's an astronaut go for a drink? The space bar. Why did the astronaut break up with his girlfriend? Because he needed more space. What? I got banned because of my dad joke. Uh, the, other, the other one, the other dad jokes are uh, more of a play on words. So it'd be kind of a stretch to do them on a, like a TikTok. I'd have to look into them. Ooh. Last time the um, that fox was crawling under the front of my truck, and I didn't know what it was, so I walked over and looked, and was like, "That's when it was like super close to me." You ever been outside the country? No. What does the fox say? It doesn't say anything. So, like, all my military stories of us, like, almost crashing and almost dying and getting shot at were all training accidents. So, you know, Marines are always dying in training. But usually it's because, like, helicopter crashes or Osprey crashes. Or a vehicle rollover. That happened a while ago. <clears throat> Wait, you're really in the military? Yeah, did uh, eight years in the Marines. Pacific Marine. Do you recommend enlisting? No. I got my military ID with my buzz cut and my mustache. <clears throat> you said I was too short. Six foot. Oh, yeah, it's on somebody else. <coughs> I had an A plus in my future report in sixth grade by joining the Marines. Show it again so I can screenshot it. That's why I was fast, so he couldn't screenshot it. Six foot, not six five. Good lord, I already bumped my head enough. I, won't want, well, I would not want to be six five. I'm at 16% battery life, and I just got the puzzle piece. It's a cat! It's the first time I got a kitty cat puzzle piece. Validation complete. 
an entire foot taller than you. Nice. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to cut this live. Ooh, I charge my phone and go to sleep. Then I wake up early and do it again. Bravo 6, going dark. <laughs>